Oh, howdy folks, how are y'all doing today? My name is Reese, and welcome back to another fantastic adventure in the wonderful world of Assassin's Creed Origins. And last episode, maybe the footage was deleted, maybe I forgot to hit record on the face cam. Who can say for sure? Honestly, nobody knows. And I've asked a lot of people, and they've all assured me that surely I would be the one to know, because there's not really a lot of other people involved in this whole endeavor, this whole howdy folks gaming channel on the other howdy folks channel and in fact even on the patreon micah and jenna are much more involved but it's mostly just me here for right now i'd love to get the others all all in here i'd like to get my nieces in here to play some games what matters is face cam is back hopefully unless you're just listening to my voice in which case something's gone wrong again i've literally just look every so often you'll see me look over here to make sure it's recording if it's not there i don't know what's going on now since last time i've done a lot so i realized that we were sort of getting into missions that required a higher level than we were. We were going up against enemies that were too powerful for us. So I decided to go through and do some things. Now, I didn't do any of the side quests, even though if we look at these side quests, this is where the XP is, my friends. Look at that. 4,000 XP for doing the Secrets of the Pyramids. Uh, we got 3,000 XP if we do this incoming threat thing, although that's a higher level than we're currently ready for. Right here, level 17, we could easily do that one if I could find all of these sites of these grisly murders. 3,750 XP madness. I didn't do that though. Instead, what I did, well, because I'm trying to save side quests for the live streams that I've got planned in the future, I went around and I did all of these sort of side objectives. So I went around and I did things like look for loot. I did things like break Ptolemy statues. I did things like go to the synchronization points and activate those. I cleared out as many camps as I could. There was one camp around here, right down here, that was just too much for me to handle at my lowly level. So I didn't do that. I didn't go check out all these ships over here. Maybe in the future we'll get around to those sorts of things. Those question marks usually mean that there's a loot to be had and XP to be gained. But that's pretty much what I did. And I did it all throughout sort of the known region. The only area I didn't revisit was uh, was over here in Siwa. I have not gone over here and broken that Ptolemy statue. But I'm sure we'll get to that at some point. In fact, I might even do it between this and the next recording session just to get that little bit of extra XP. Now, I got a lot of gear doing all of that. Got a lot of loot, if you're so inclined. Loot, if you're a proper person. And what I did was rather than just hoarding a bunch of swords and bows and arrows, rather than selling them for gold, which might have been smarter, instead what I did was break them all down. Like, all of them. I, I kept one of every type of bow. Some of these bows can't be broken down because, you know, gifts yeah, so or the like, helix things, whatever. You can't get rid of them. But the ones that I could break down, uh, in fact, you'd think that one would be one, but apparently it's not. Uh, this one is, but it's the highest level light bow we have. I didn't want to get rid of it. Anyway, I broke them all down, so we have a ton of material now. In fact, if we just hop over to our inventory, you'll see that we have got a ton of metal, which is great moving forward. Something else I did on the map was I also went through and collected a whole bunch of these clue scrolls. You do get XP for collecting them. You get more if you solve them. I figure we might save that for the last live streams as well, unless I really need just some extra XP at some point. Abilities, I did unlock a couple of new ones. I'm trying to remember which ones I unlocked. I know for sure Eagle Harass, so we can now have our wonderful bird, Sanu, just fly down and hassle people, which is great. And I think that I got Charged Heavy Attack as well, because that was really handy for clearing out the camps. And you will see both of those things used today. So it's not like you missed out on much. Now we have three ability points here that we can use to unlock things. I got those just during the course of the playtime in between episodes. And I'm not sure what to do with them. You can purchase rare quality goods in shops. Uh, you get more for selling stuff, fire bombs, berserk. What I actually kind of want to do is this one, which allows you to jump out of the air and Breath of the Wild style slow down midair and shoot. And in fact, that's what we're going to do, because this is my playthrough, and I'll do as I please. You you can't stop me. You can't buy me, sir. You can't you can't buy me, hot dog man. Check this one out, though. I really want to get this one. So if we use a predator bow and we have this one unlocked, only two more ability points needed, we can just drive the arrow. Headshots all day, my friend. Headshots for days. Next, we can hop back over here and we can look at using some of the uh, metal that we have now to upgrade some stuff. Now, we still don't have enough to upgrade our stabilizer gloves, which I want to do. We can upgrade the quiver. I think that upgrading the hidden blade, though, is going to be our first priority because it's not powerful enough to insta-kill certain um, bad guys closer to our level. And in fact, it's going to cost a lot of resources, but we're going to go ahead and upgrade that one twice just to get that hidden da uh, blade damage up a bit. 
We can increase our melee damage here if we wanted to. We could also increase our tool pouch, which we just don't use. So I think we're going to uh, get better bracers. And also, if we can, we're going to upgrade our quiver once more. Maybe twice more. I wasn't really paying attention to that. How many more resources do we have? No, okay, we're fresh out of whatever the silvery looking metal. I think that's iron. Fresh out of iron. Got just enough if we want to upgrade the hidden blade one more time. We might want to save it, though. Because if we get a few more pieces, we can upgrade that. Uh, what about this? What do you require? Uh, I see no reason why increasing our melee damage would be a bad thing, so we'll go ahead and do that. And even though we have enough resources to upgrade some more things, we're not going to for right now. For right now, we're going to hop back out and we're going to go to our next mission, which will be fun. Now, quests, like I said, if we did side quests, we could get a lot of XP, but I think we're close enough to the Lizard's Mask. I think we're level 20 now. Uh, yeah, we're approaching, or maybe we are level 21. What does this mean? Does this mean that we are 21 or that we're approaching 21? I think that we're level 20. I think that's where I stopped it. So we're, we're close enough to the Lizard's Mask to get it done. Plus, it'll take us to Memphis. So if we take a look at the map here, Memphis is a whole new region that we have yet to explore. It'll unlock a whole wealth of new goodies and unlockables for us. And that sounds good to me. I'm just going to let the camel take me there while I relax back and listen to a bit of a podcast. It's pretty far away. So we'll come back to it here soon. When you folks, uh, when we arrive and you folks can just join me there. Also, if you're watching this video and you're concerned that they're not getting a lot of views, welcome to Assassin's Creed. I had a very lovely comment from someone who was like, oh, this feels so bad. Your channel used to be so famous, which is an idea that I don't understand. Whoa, what is this? Whoa. Oh, you've done it now, Camel. You led me to the wrong thing. This is my fault, actually. This is 100% my fault. I had that selected on the map. As I was saying, though, there's a lot of people who seem to be operating under this idea. Ooh, these guys are a hassle. These are the bounty hunters that'll come after us. I've had to deal with them in the past. I haven't killed any of them, but have run away from a lot of them, trust me. Anyway, there's a lot of people operating on the idea that I used to have a famous channel. I did not. I had a famous series called Tech at Legends. The channel's doing as fine now as it's been in the last two years. Uh, it's it's at a steady 100,000 views a month. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, but it's, it's rock solid right about there. And, um, I mean, that's not growth, which I'd like to see, but it's also not a decline, so don't worry about me. I mostly just enjoy doing this, and I've talked about the reasons I make YouTube videos before. There's no reason to go into it in the middle of an Assassin's Creed Let's Play video, but no, there's no reason. We won't. Oh, no, 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 no. Easy does it there. That's one of those boys. That's one of those boys that'll hunt me down. We're going to go around him. I'm going to take manual control over the camel here, because those guys, they're ruthless. They'll chase you down. They won't give you a moment's rest. It's just not worth the effort. Oh, we've arrived at Memphis, everyone. This is very exciting. Oh, it's the home of country music. Actually, is Memphis the home of country music? I feel like Tennessee is often touted as the home of country music. I'm not sure if Memphis specifically. Isn't that where Elvis... Isn't that where Graceland is? Is that in Memphis? Walk in in Memphis! I think it is, based on that song. I'm just making assumptions here. Also, though... Sadly, He's likely at the great temple. who are we talking to? Whoa, we'll bet. All right, travel to Memphis, done it. Speak to Pasferinth. That's not, wait a minute, I'm, de I'm deeply confused now. Oh, okay, Camel. All righty, I'll go on my own way now. You can, you can go walk the streets of Memphis, yourself. maybe write a song about it or something. I'm sure we'll do well with that one on the Egypt's top charts. There's a lot of blood in the water here. Uh, oh, maybe that's why. <laughs> oh, that's a pleasant. Uh, oh, look at that there. Whoa, he's after us. Whoa, gosh, unexpected turn of events. Come on, Bayek. Can't be dealing. Level 20 crocodiles, not my... Not today, sir. Memphis. It is beautiful. But it stinks of the battlefield. Or a tomb. That's very, that's very nice, Bayek. Thank you for sharing... The smells of... I mean, I, I, we don't have smell vision yet in video games. So thank you for sharing. I, I'm sure I can imagine the smell of a tomb or perhaps a battlefield. As I have certainly seen many of those in my own life. Actually, I did go to a Civil War reenactment. And it did kind of smell. But that's mostly because of sweaty men in costumes, I'm sure. My brother was one of them. He, he wasn't participating in it. But him and his friend both dressed up. Out of there, boyos. I'll just be heading into the temple here. I don't mean to cause any alarm. I'm definitely supposed to be here. Don't mind me. I'm just here to pay my respects and put a bowl full of flowers or something in the water. That's what we did at the last temple we visited. So just assuming that it'll somehow, whoa, play into all of this here as well. We don't want to cause a scene, though, so let's just creep. 
Let's just sneak the whole time. No, nope, that's too slow. Also, that makes us look a bit suspicious. If you're not being suspicious, don't act suspicious. That's my, my tip of the day to you there. Uh, it'll help you avoid a lot of problems. I guess we're close enough to that marker. Oh, it's nighttime now! Wow! We spent a long time walking through the temple, I guess. Part of the ritual. I will vomit if I hear more. Have no doubt of this. If our child dies, I die. No, my lotus, do not speak like that. I must go to the seer's house. Just leave me be. Hmm. This man seems troubled. He's going to become the bull. Right? Is that where this is going? That would be pretty good. High priest. Why do all the high priests I'm, just I'm wear sorry. animal I'm, uh, skin? I have come to seek the lizard. Oh, the lizard. One more affliction for Memphis. The city with us in the darkness of a When it cuts to these cutscenes, they're so low quality. It makes me wonder if it was like a, a download issue where the file they wanted to keep the file size of the game down, so they just like make all the games blurry. Like all the all the videos, just make them blurry. Why didn't they just render in real time graphics like this? Which I mean this doesn't look great either, but it's better. Also, I might need to check the settings because I don't know if I ever changed them after moving back to the gaming PC. Hmm. Hmm. I should look into that actually. Because that is even my own house, my wife Taimhotep has miscarried three times this year. She's with child again, but if, if she loses a fourth, <laughs> this is a broken man. It sounds like there's some sort of a like a virus or something. I will look into this. This isn't a curse. This is like powder or something. My wife there's power in the water supply. This house is to the southwest. Is your mouth chalky after taking a drink? I will kneel beside you as they strike us down. Well, that's admirable. I don't know how much good that's going to do you, though. It's, I'm not sure what point you're going to get across to the gods by just letting them kill you. But you know what, Bike? It's the thought that counts. Also, would you actually let that happen? If it was the gods that were responsible, would you kneel beside him as they struck you? I mean, don't you have a mission you're on? How would I feel about that? I don't think you should be happy about that, Bag. I think you need to stop talking out your wazoo. Also, put on some clothes already, sir. You've been wearing this towel now for several videos. Do we have any better outfits? I don't know. Surely we'll unlock a better outfit soon enough. I don't want to put on anything normal, though, right? I like the silly outfits, like the bathhouse towel. I think it's fun to assassinate people dressed like we just came out of a warm shower. What can I say? I'm like that. Ooh. Grow, O light. Come forth, O light. You have come at last. Here I am. Who is this man? He is the deliverer. Many years I have waited for him. Does he just say this about everyone who walks in the door? Just in case he's right? Look, if this place is cursed, leave it. Let us proceed with the ritual. I drive around pretty often. It's not hard to find work. Just ride up and agree to get to... Well, this is happening. Oh, you want me to actually bring you the cauldron? Okay, I thought you were just chanting a thing. Uh, carry that. We'll just, do I set it between y'all on the fire here? Naturally, naturally. That's where a cauldron would go. You wouldn't want to set it outside. It's not going to do much good there. It's a good thing it sits love. Whoa, there's contents in there all of a sudden. Pretty sure it was empty when we picked it up. I might be wrong. Do not comment down below unless you feel compelled to. Let your eyes be opened. Ooh, this is going to be trippy. Devoid of moisture. Come forth from the stream. Is this... Sothis, let their eyes be open. Like when we drink from the, the sacred let tea? Ooh, don't do it. Don't do it back. Don't do it. This is bad. This is bad. This is like when... What was his name? Connor drank the sacred tea of the Inca people or whatever it was. That's a Yogg's cast reference. 
sure some of you will be familiar with that. You drink your tea of the Inca people. <laughs> oh, that's a good episode of the Yog Pod. That's a good episode. Um, <clears throat> I'm just putting the dials in the sink right now. Just putting in the dials. <laughs> that's washing powder. You don't put it in this. I'm sorry. This, these are going to make no sense. To you. Go listen to the Yog Pod. I think it's called the Triforce Podcast now. All the old episodes are still available. Go listen to them. They're golden. What's happening? Have we drank the, the tea from the roots of the old tree like in Assassin's Creed 3? The rhymes are real, my friend. So real. Yeah, this looks about right. That or this city just got burnt bad. Uh, well, Mike, it looks like the entire city crumbled down around us, was buried in sand, but these individuals were kind of burnt alive and for some reason are still here. That j Let's not walk through their corpses, which are currently flying away. I guess we'll head in this direction. Must keep moving. Be swallowed by the desert. What, an, what an observation there, sir. So, are we going to go into this tomb and kill a god or something and that's going to liberate the people of this curse? That'd be pretty cool. Bayek God Slayer. Father of dragons. Are they dragons? There's a big snake in the, uh, in the commercial. We haven't gotten to that yet, and that might not actually be a thing. It might be an illusion. Maybe we've been sipping on the tea of the Inca people again. Who can say? We'll find out. What What are you talking about? Mike, you can see things that I cannot. I'm, I'm not stopping. I'm a green. Whoa. Okay, good. It's safe inside, I suppose. No. No, what was that? Just see that? Oh, Shrek, is this the giant? Oh, speak of the giant snake. I think we found it, everybody. Okay. Honestly, had no idea. Honestly, I had no idea. If that's what the- I am just as surprised as you are. I was just thinking about, you know, this is a weird place. We're gonna go fight a god, and then I just thought of the snake in the- Amazing. Absolutely. That might not even be what it is, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Who's that? Who's that boy? <gasps> Wait a minute. Aren't we here to kill the... Snake? Didn't we already kill the snake? Oh my gosh! The mission is called the snake, isn't it? I right, know. hold on. We did the hyena. I'm pretty sure we did the scarab. I think this one's the snake, and therefore it makes sense that there's a snake. It was put in my brain by the name of the... Is that what this quest is, though? I could still be wrong. I don't know. Who is this? Ooh, trippy. It's it's us! In assassins-like gear! Holding some glowy rocks! We're dying, everybody! Oh, wonderful! Tip the scales! Do it! Do it! Do it! Ooh. Oh, this is strange indeed. Magic flying rock. Eyes rolling back. Whoa, we broke the scale! It's the snake, everybody! We found him! Oh, boy! I'm bad at combat, so I have, if I have to fight this thing, this is going to be a, a disappointment. Maybe it'll eat other me, and that'll be enough to satiate its hunker? Yeah, eat other me, please. No, not the gold... Don't get you the golden glowing light. Oh, it's a glowy snake. It's like a glow worm. You guys familiar with glow worms? They're like these creepy dolls that have human faces, but then worm bodies and they glow and it's real disturbing, but they were real big in the 80s. Oh no, it's okay. The glowy light was a bird that is a weapon. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand it, but I guess I don't have to. Oh, it's a light bowl, like in The Legend of Zelda. Fantastic. All right, so we got a circle of light arrows here. Now, how did you know to do that, Bayek? How did you know to... Where you get... What, what are you doing, son? Where are you learning all these... Wait, this is Assassin Bayek. You can tell because he's not wearing bath towels right now. And he's wearing some very assassin-y looking gear. 